Hey my dear achievers, welcome to this nice, small, cute little session on a very interesting agenda. What if? Aisa hota to kya hota? Vaisa hota to kya hota? So this is the agenda. What if we replace all curved mirrors with plane mirrors? And now, you know, this particular uh, thing, the what if thing, it's quite interesting and I personally really like it because it gives you opportunity to think in something differently. Things are always done how they are always done, right? But you know, sometimes very few people are, are able to think something differently and for that, they need to think, what if? What if I do it differently? So that question, the what if question becomes really interesting and that is exactly what we are about to do today, right? So, the question in front of us is quite straightforward. What if we replace all curved mirrors with plane mirrors? Kya hi bigar jayega? Right? What wrong could happen? So let's see what wrong could happen. So this session will make you revise a lot of things about light, a lot of things about applications, right? Reflection and refraction. So this is the chapter's name and today we'll talk about mirrors. If we replace all curved mirrors with plane mirrors. So let's start without any further ado. All right, so let's have a very quick recap. We know what are concave mirrors. These are converging mirrors. Parallel light rays fall on them and then after reflection, they converge at a point. We call that point as focus, that's fine. Convex mirrors, they are diverging mirror, right? Parallel rays fall on them, get diverged, but backside, behind the mirror, they appear to be coming from that point, right? If you can trace these rays backwards, they all appear to meet at a point which we call as the focus for that convex mirror. That is also fine, okay? Now, before I tell you what application is, let me give you how to think about this thing. Whatever application we talk about, first of all think, what is your requirement with that application, right? So let's, let's do a dummy round. First is a rear view or side mirror. So first of all, the thing we should, we should know about is, why do we use rear view mirrors? What is our requirement? Because once you know, then you can understand what mirrors you actually use. Then, if we replace that mirror with a plane mirror, what will I lose, right? This is the format in which we can think. And these questions can be formed in multiple ways with many applications. So let's see. First is rear view or side view mirrors. Let's see. Now, which, what is our requirement? First of all, let's see. A rear view mirror is used in vehicles to see something which is behind you, right? Road, other vehicles, everything, right? So, okay. So, use, we use convex mirror then, right? Because you want, you want an image to be virtual inside the mirror, right? You want it to be erect. You won't like, right, if the vehicles behind you are upside down. Oh, this is upside down. So, you would like to be a virtual image, to be a upright image. The third thing is not actually you want but you know there's a benefit of it you also get a diminished image so we use a convex and diverging mirror this we all know because we have learned the light chapter right because it has a wide field of view it can give you more coverage in terms of uh, viewing angle viewing area so that's why we call it in very simple and little technical words wider field of view all right so this is what a convex mirror gives you and it also gives you smaller images which appear further now you might have realized this on the mirrors it's certain objects in mirrors are closer than they appear they are closer than they appear because it's the brain brain has a tendency if something is smaller you feel oh it's far from me right if if i have this pen it is nearer to me okay if it is far from me it looks smaller nearer to me it looks bigger so brain has a tendency. If you see some image as a smaller, no, some some something as a smaller thing, you feel, oh, it's far. Because I know in reality it is bigger than this. So this is one problem. So let's see. I'll show you exactly in real life what happens. Now watch, watch carefully. This is a convex mirror. I have a tank, uh, I would say a fire truck, another car, another, another car, this green car and blue car. Let's see the two extremities. You can see the blue and the green. In the convex mirror, you can see the blue and green car as well, right? So all four, almost I can see all the four cars. All right, let's see. If I replace this convex mirror with an equal sized plane mirror, what happens? Let's take it out. Let's see. 
Please go back. What happened? You were able to see four, but if you replace it with a plane mirror of equal size, you can only see two cars and they also look bigger. So do you understand what I'm saying? Brain thinks they are far because they look smaller. If you replace it with a plane mirror, the image becomes of equal size, but you are not able to see more number of cars. You can't see a wider field of view and that is our problem. So what will happen if we use a plane mirror? Field of view is lost, right? That advantage you had with convex mirror is lost. Second, objects will have true size and distance. They will appear bigger to you compared to what they would appear in the convex mirror, right? Okay, so convex mirror, you might be able to see the complete road. That is what exactly you want. But in plane mirror, you will see bigger cars, bigger vehicles, but not the complete road, not the complete view that you actually want. That is our problem, right? So that is something that will happen if you replace convex mirrors from rear view mirrors, then plane mirrors, right? From plane mirrors, I would say. Fine, easy. So first, what if it's done? Okay, let's see. The next one, street lights. Ooh. Why do we use street lights? To illuminate the streets, right? Street light, because that's that's why the name. Okay, now, street light, you want the light from this particular system, the street light, right? The bulb and everything, this, this casing, to come out of that and spread on the street. That is my requirement, fine. All right, sir, where do we use mirror then? Which mirror will you use? If you want to spread the light from the street lamp onto the road, which mirror will you use? Think, can you use concave mirror? Concave mirror, there'll be a problem, no? The problem would be, it will narrow down the beam. But what if you use a convex mirror? Huh, that looks good. If I use a convex mirror and put the bulb over here, light will fall from the bulb on the mirror, it will spread. And that's exactly what I want. I want the light to spread on the street. Convex, so. My requirement made me realize that I want a convex mirror. Yes, so that's why we use a convex or diverging mirror because we want a wider beam. Fine, this is what we use, all right? Now, same thing, the bulb, the mirror, and this side is the reflecting surface, the light rays will fall, and they will spread out, all right? Fine, nice. So this is about convex mirror. Now, what do you see? What do we see? We see a spread out light, nicely spread out light, which is exactly what we want. And it can cover more area on the street. With one single lamp, I can cover a lot of area on the street, fine. Now, what if we use a plane mirror? What do you think will be the problem? First of all, let's, let's understand. The problem would be first, here it was a convex mirror. It was a convex mirror, light was falling and was spreading out nicely because it is a diverging mirror, right? It's able to spread the light more. If I use a same sized plane mirror, what the problem would be? The problem would only be light will not be able to spread out that much. Light won't spread out that much as it would in the case of a convex mirror. Means you will get a narrower beam, right? So let's see, the wide beam will be lost. You will get a narrower beam from a plane mirrors. If let's say, to cover this much area, your one street lamp was able to cover this much, okay? If one street lamp was able to give you a wider field of view or wider beam, I would say, to cover this much of the area, now what would you need? You will need multiple street lamps, right? One here, one here, one here, why? Because the beam is strong, but it is narrow, right? Streets will be illuminated more, but, but the problem would be, it will not cover that much area. So that's why the wide beam will be lost. Fine. So this is one problem if you use plane mirror. Okay, fine. So got this. What will be the problem if you replace convex mirrors from street lights than or from the plane mirrors? Nice. It's easy to understand. Okay, let's see. The next one. Flashlights and headlights. Which mirror do we use? Or before we answer that, let's see what is our requirement. Is it similar to street lights? Come on, let's think about that first. Is it similar to street lights? Street lights may you wanted to spread the light more so that it can go ahead and illuminate the whole street. But here, do you need to spread the light more or do you need the light to travel as far as possible so that you can see how far some other vehicle is coming at night so that you can avoid collision or you know, you can just, you have time to change your course of direction in case of any mishap is going to happen, right? Fine, all right, so that's why. 
my requirement is not to spread the light more my requirement is to make the light travel more and more and as far as possible so there are two different things over here now see concave mirror does the job how does it does the job when you put the bulb at focus you get strong parallel rays in concave mirrors right the bulb is at the focus the light will emerge from the bulb fall on the mirror and become parallel because that's exactly what happens in concave mirror fine all right now that's why you use a concave mirrors in torches headlights because you get strong parallel rays which will travel to infinity right fine now what will happen if you use a plane mirror think think the only answer lies in this diagram mirror light goes becomes parallel right so that's why you get strong parallel rays but what if what if i use a plane mirror if you use a plane mirror this is what happens the spread out unfocused beam comes out spread out unfocused beam the thing is now the light rays are not parallel they are spread out means illumination will not be that good the range will also be less right so we can say very low range they are not able to they are not able to travel as far as possible because they are not parallel now they are spreading out so that's why concave mirror will give you such kind of a focused light beam and this one will give you a spread out right if you use convex it will give you even spreader no use fine all right good all right let's see next a dentist or shaving mirror what is the requirement of a dentist or a person who is shaving what do they want they want images to be come on think they want images to be virtual inside the mirror erect right erect or upright you don't want yourself to be upside down while you are trying to shave or something no so okay second is upright or erect images third is magnified dentist he is doing or he or she is doing a very intricate or delicate job they want to see the magnified version of the cavity or things where they are working upon so that's why the requirement is virtual erect and magnified image so which mirror which mirror which spherical mirror i would ask convex or concave it will be a concave mirror which particular case between pole and focus right so that's why the answer is concave mirror it is something which we currently use because of when you put object between pole and focus now this is the pole pole and focus you get a virtual erect and magnified image and the ray diagram is quite simple right ray diagram is quite simple all right so magnified erect and virtual image so that's why we get a concave mirror what if we use a plane mirror think plane mirror there is no way of getting a magnified image no in a plane mirror you will always and always get same sized image it will be virtual check it will be erect check but you know what it won't be magnified it will be similar sized image right so object size equals image size in the case of a plane mirror so what if we use a plane mirror you will lose magnification so the thing i lose is magnification i won't be able to see magnified images so that's why you can imagine or you can view it like this in a concave mirror you can see at least the bigger version of the of the tooth right or the teeth i would say plane mirror you can see more teeth but that is not exactly what you want you want bigger so you don't want multiple teeth to be seen at one time you want one teeth to be seen bigger and you will lose that so that's why that is the problem if you use plane mirrors so let's summarize everything because you know in this whole exercise we have revised a lot of things so let's summarize everything very quickly convex is a diverging mirror concave is a converging mirror it is used in flashlights headlights dentist mirror shaving mirror but a convex mirror used in rear view and street lights one question to you you might have seen these funny mirrors no in exhibitions or some public places where you can see some very weird wavy image you might see yourself bulged up huddled up right so that is one thing what do we use there come on let us know in the comment sections and if you think this video was nice please like share and subscribe this is important like i understand you do it but you know what sharing and subscribing that is also very important you will get more such sessions what if aisa hota to kya hota all right so and second thing second very important thing now it's a very limited time period offer see we have this three class pack for all of you which was of 399 but today it is zero 
So go ahead, there is a link in the description, click on that and use this code, the YT free code. You will get this three pack session. And from this three pack session, you can explore the two teacher advantage. You can explore the personal attention from mentors, from teachers, right? Get live doubt solving. So all these things we are giving you for trial purpose. And yes, we're also giving you 15 day membership of the Byju's premium app for free. Yes, it's free. F R W -E, e. No one will ask you, please pay. Fine. So go ahead, try it, explore it, and let us know what you think. Fine. So with this, I would say go ahead, take care, and we'll meet each other in the next session.